Hey folks, welcome to Tully River Quail. I want to share with you our base formula for our pickled quail eggs. Um, it's going to be simple and I'm also going to share with you the top secret grandma's secret recipe ingredient. So in the beginning, I'm just going to tell you I'm not measuring any of this and the volume that you make will depend on the number of jars that you're going to be filling. So we do this in proportion and not by actual membership. So I'm not going to give you two cups of this and two quarts of that. I'm going to give you a, a, a proportion, basically. So let's just start with the number one ingredient, which would be vinegar. So more than half of your solution is going to be white vinegar. All right. The second thing we like to add is raw apple cider vinegar this is the bragg's mother that's unpasteurized so we put about five percent or twenty percent on top of that so you can see if i'm using this line two-thirds of the solution is vinegar all right i'm just going to put a little bit more because i like this apple cider vinegar okay then the other things that we do is we like a little bit extra peppercorns so we put some peppercorns in there and then we like it a little sweet so for this amount i'm going to put in a third of a cup that's what that looks like now we don't like it too salty so i'm just going to put in probably 20% of the sugar I put in, I'm going to add the salt to. <coughs> Excuse me, a little of that COVID going around. Alrighty, then there's this stuff called pickling spice you can get from a restaurant store. Alright, so we add some of that. That's got bay leaves, fennel, um, juniper. We put that in there. Alright, just to taste. Now from there, you can add hot peppers, you can add onion, you can put anything you really want in there, all right? But this all has to be boiled down so that this stuff gets soft and this stuff gets melted, all righty? And now for grandma's secret, let me reach into this drawer here. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Quell Cooperative. Please join the U.S. Quail Cooperative as we form a collective to create a food distribution source and a parallel poultry network in America, the Quail Parallel. And that's Grandma's Secret, so don't share that with anybody. All right, so what we do is we take this over to the pot, and we're going to add this. Now, this stuff will store in this plastic jug. Anything that we don't use, we'll store. Uh, I forgot to tell you, we add a little bit of water, so that extra third that's not there up to that line should have been water. I was so excited about showing you that grandma's secret that I forgot. But we can always add the water at the end here to help rinse that out. So that's about that third part that I was talking about up to this line. That's about what that is. So that gives me a chance to rinse this out. Alrighty. And you put all this in there. Yeah, simmer it for about five minutes. And then it's best to pour this over your eggs while they're hot. And then that way when you seal the jar, the when it cools down, it'll act like a vacuum and give you a really good seal on your mason jar. All right, folks, one last little thing here. Um, from a restaurant store supply company, we found these little 16-ounce jars. They have a little rooster. It says farm fresh on them, drinking mugs. Now, they're not the resealable um, lids that have the vacuum pop on them. Now, we're going to seal these vacuums with a, our uh, vacuum sealer, so that'll suck these down and take out any extra air. But I just wanted to show you, you have a choice of different things that you can put them in. Most people on eBay are selling them in 16 ounces. You can also sell 32 ounces. Um, we're actually talking about selling them in vacuum packed bags and sending some plastic uh, containers like this 
that you'd get four of these in a big vacuum bag and that way people can split them and share them with some of their neighbors. Might as well turn other people on to it. All right, there you have it. Grandma's secret recipe. Stay free. Tully River Quail.